Hey everybody, Dan here back with another Trello tutorial. So today I'm going to be running through how to export data from your Trello board to an Excel or CSV format. Okay, so to show you quickly how this works, um, first of all, if you're on business class, I'll just show you how that is accessible. So first you go to show menu, then down to print and export. And here you'll see we have two options for exporting CSV or JSON. And we'll go for CSV in this case. And you can see it just downloads it, um, downloads the whole board, all of its, all of the, the data, all the cards, all the lists, and it will open it up as, in this case, I've chosen to open up CSVs in Excel so you can see what it looks like. So this is the, the export. You do have a, a lot of information here. Um, most things you could want, uh, with the exception of a few things, including checklist um, information. That's one thing that's not on here, but will be in the next option I'm going to show you with uh, using the board export power up. Um, but you do get lots of like, nice information around this one. Okay, so that's the first option. Um, and as I say, that's part of the business class plan. So you will need to be paying $10 or more um, per month per user for that. So a slightly more affordable option if you're uh, not interested in purchasing business class and you don't need all the extra features that come with that and all you want to do is export your data, then we have a power up here called Board Export which um, allows you to do this for $10 for, but for the whole year. So this is instead of per month, it's for the whole year. So to do this, once it's installed, so the usual way of installing a power up, which I'm sure you're aware of, if not, then um, it's pretty simple. So you just add power up here, search for it, and here you see, and you just press add, and that will add it to your power ups list. So once you've gone through and bought a license for this, then uh, you'll see this button at the top. And all you have to do here is click on that button, which will open up this menu. And in this case, we do have some options, so we can actually select which of the lists that we would like to export in case you don't want to export everything. In this case, I'll just export them all. And you have various options here for the format. So just for simplicity's sake, and to do a direct comparison, I'm going to choose CSV, which is what we used earlier for the other export. Once again, this will open it up into Excel for me because that's how I open CSVs. And here we have the export format. So we can see it looks pretty similar to the, the Trello one um, with the exception of a few fields are slightly different. Um, you do get the same things around the card uh, URL and location and you get some due dates. Um, and But the one thing that you do get here which you don't get with the, the Trello export is some checklist information. So here we have some checklist items and included within this you can see who's assigned to the checklist this that's me and um, these are actually advanced checklists so if you do have business class and you do still want to export checklist information at the moment uh, that's not possible with Trello's export so with this you could get that and you could have the advanced checklist um, functionality which is the same as a normal checklist but you're allowed, you're able to actually add, um, you're actually able to add members and due dates to the checklist. So you can add yourself and you can add a due date for that particular item. So these will be exported within this format as well. So that's how you do it. That's how you export the data to Excel or CSV. Um, I won't show you how to do further analysis with this, I'll leave that to you, but, but that's how you export data from your Trello boards. If you have any questions about this or any other um, questions around how to do things in Trello, please do leave us a comment below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and hit the subscribe button if you're interested in being up to date on the latest tutorials as and when we release them. So I hope you enjoyed that and found it useful and we'll see you next time.